So what you can also do is work around with gradient tool inside a photo P. So in order to work around with gradient tool, you need to go around over here on the left hand side and click and hold and select the gradient tool right here. So once you go around onto the gradient tool, there are many different gradients that you can choose from right here, just like this, which may be linear, a linear angle and so forth. If I were to click and drag, then I got the gradient applied right here. Similarly, go to radial right here, then you got the radial gradient. You got the angle right here, go for the angle gradient. Reflected gradient around over here, just like this, and diamond gradient as well, just like that. You can also work around with different blending modes right here, like you can multiply out the gradient mode right here, just like this, or you can go and lighten it out and make it much more brighter as well, just like this. So this is what you can do right here. You can go around, work around with the gradient tool. One of the things that you can do is you can work around with the rectangular tool right here and then go to the gradient tool right here. And if I were to select a particular gradient, as you can see right here, I can go around and click and drag and the gradient actually just happens in that particular area right here. Let me just go around onto normal tool right here, just like this and click and drag. And then you can see that the gradient is only in that selected area. And that is how you can apply the gradients using the gradient tool inside a photo P. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.